Namaste, I am Soumya and welcome to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Today's video is what you will love the most, Middle Eastern perfumes. The ones are from Latafa, Babi Al Oud range. We have already discussed about the black one. I don't think I have done a video about the purple one, which I would do very, very soon. Let's talk about Babi Al Oud, the white version and the red version. Now, before I continue with the video, I would like you to know uh, it's kind of tricky for me to go and buy every single one of these Latafa perfumes for a review, obviously because of financial reasons. So the best way in which I can go about this is go to the stores a couple of times and especially get the tester bottles that are halfway through, then try them, experience the scent for a day, uh, talk to the SA over there about you know what people are buying and that kind of a thing and then narrow it down, come here and make a video. So this is not a first impressions. This is not um, me randomly making a video. However, I cannot show you the bottles. So whenever I go to the store, I can take whatever clips I can to show you. And that's that. Is that okay? I hope it is. These videos are not sponsored. And this is my honest opinion. Next, Middle Eastern perfumes need a lot of time to macerate. Um, especially when it comes from the, you know, the more affordable ones. Now that what that means is what you experience from the first spritz of a fresh bottle of perfume will be very different from what you experience from the say the 50th spritz of that perfume because over time it changes over time it becomes stronger over time certain notes become more prominent and certain other notes just vanish so that's how it works. Again, perfumes are a very subjective thing, so take everything with a grain of salt. I do not recommend anyone to ever buy anything blindly. So let's start. Badi Al Oud, Honor and Glory. The notes are pineapple, creme brulee, yum, cinnamon, benzoin, turmeric, black pepper, vanilla, cashmiran, sandalwood and moss. <sighs> To me, this was very, very tropical, sweet, warm, and then it dries down and it's so woody. I didn't get a very prominent juicy pineapple in it. And the pineapple note used in this perfume is not at all artificial or synthetic or screechy like the pineapple note in Dar Al what is it called? Al Dur Al Maknoon. I have reviewed Al Dur Al Maknoon a while ago and I said how Latafa couldn't just get the pineapple note correct. It was artificial. It was just, it was not it. Mm -hmm. But here, it's not like that. The pineapple is just, it's not, it's not too much. It's just tropical and warm. Maybe it's like the pineapple pieces were put in warm creme brulee or something. You know, it's like that. Um, so that's that. What I've written down is it has subtle projection, but very, very, very good longevity. Oh my God. Compared to so many designer fragrances for which you have to pay 400, 500 dirhams, this scent performs way better than them and way longer than them. Certain Latafas project like a beast. At least on me, this didn't have beast-like projection. It had good projection, like a designer scent projection, but not the usual Latafa's beast mode projection. At least on me, it didn't have that on my clothes, on my hair, on my skin. I tried this on my husband. He felt it was a little too subtle. And when he heard the word Badi Al Oud, he thought there would be Oud in it. There's no Oud in it. Um, now, Feminine, masculine, that kind of a conversation is normal in the fragrance community. First and foremost, anyone can wear any scent they like whenever they want. Okay, when it comes to the individual expression. Now, the second part is certain scents do 
well on certain weather conditions certain scents do well like clean soapy uh, laundry detergent kind of scents or just out of the shower kind of scents or soapy rosy scents do really well when you are in an office environment but you can wear something a little more louder when you are uh, going out with your friends during the evening and again it depends on are you having like a cozy coffee date or are you going clubbing right so in all of those categories this one falls into starts more feminine because of the sweetness and then within 30 minutes it's an absolute unisex scent according to me a lot of people might think this is masculine now if you are a person who's masculine and wants masculine scents are that are very woody tobacco like leather um bring on the beast mode projection and no sweetness in that case you would think this is feminine to me this is absolutely unisex yes the the way that pineapple opens up the the warm creaminess comes out um it has a hint of playful feminine but 30 minutes down it's unisex so everyone can wear it to me this is not a very beast mode kind of a scent so you can wear it you know most of the time especially uh, winters will be fantastic um the wood in it this is not arabic very very arabic very um very out there so i love it i can wear it throughout all the time summers i might not go crazy with it especially summers in dubai are like 40 45 degrees so then i am not very sure the how the pineapple note is going to perform during that 45 degrees celsius weather and then there is also a possibility that the black pepper and turmeric could dominate the creamy sweet openings so i haven't tested this during 45 degrees celsius what i have tested is during like 30 degrees 25 degrees and it's done really really well it's not screechy it's well well formulated now that's all i have to say i have written this down but should i say this yeah i can say it it's okay the first time i i, I didn't get this the second time i experienced the scent after th- after like i think 10 15 minutes I felt I could get every now and then not continuously but every now and then I could get a whiff of herba pora jarge of herba pora also once or twice I felt like is that kirke tezenia terensi kirke and uh, it wasn't continuous so there was an element of it unfolding in a mysterious manner where I could get the DNA of those juices but I wouldn't say this is exactly like those. So that's my take. Next, Adi Al Oud Sublime is the red bottle. I'm sure I'm leaving the pictures and videos. Both of these have beautiful packaging. I would say more like that, you know, a little over the top, top of Middle Eastern that kind of a look. and we know these are inspired by what trade so we are not going it <laughs> now let's talk about the notes apple litchi rose plum jasmine vanilla mousse and patchouli when i went to test these fragrances i avoided watching any hype videos about these fragrances because then i will have this preconceived notion of what to expect i did not read any of the notes so my first experience i've written down was this to me started off as a sparkling drink with fruits and i had question mark strawberry question mark raspberry question mark so that is how i started experiencing this scent i think 5 to 10 minutes in i started getting whiffs of bath and body works candy apple this is candy apple or winter apple i think winter candy apple then there is another one i have already discussed about it bath and body works bright christmas morning so that i we have the shower gel over here and that one has this fresh juicy apple scent to it and something cooling about it 
so the it's a combination of bright christmas morning um and winter candy apple and then i got whiffs of this one bath and body works um in the stars so if you like in the stars if you like the bath and body works winter candy apple if you like more uh, you know that effervescent sparkling water berries strawberries raspberries that kind of like fresh apple kind of scent you will love it this is actually take i have heard i recently like i think i think from tiktok or something i heard or i read i'm not sure this is highly inspired by kali eden juicy apple so i haven't had a chance to try this side by side if i ever do then i would make an update about it as of now i i see again i think i have tried eden juicy apple long ago i liked it but it wasn't having much of any longevity at least on my skin and this one is also like that from a lot of the latafas i have tried this one doesn't have as much longevity however you have to keep in mind that this is a very very uh, youthful fragrance so this the notes are quite lighter except for the patchouli and i don't get much of any patchouli because i'm not a biggest patchouli fan so if patchouli is dominating somewhere i am out thank you very much and here it's not like that so it's nice it's 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 not juvenile however even a teenager might enjoy the scent i wouldn't call this a very serious mature scent this is a very a feminine fun i am in the mood to play and have fun and go out to, to a cafe go shopping it's that kind of a scent so if you want to wear this to your workplace which could be a very serious i would say not a thing but if you have a workplace that's more um fun and it's into something more artsy or more like uh, media that kind of a thing you would love it there is a playfulness to it it's not juvenile and um, the longevity and rejection on this one is quite quite average uh, it lasts a little like longer on your clothes but on my skin it vanished after 3 hours i would say and for a latafa that's way below average because a lot of latafa perfumes stay on your clothes even after a wash and they stay on your skin for more than 8 hours there are so many latafas are like that so this one was eh when it comes to longevity projection and see arch but it's fabulous when it comes to what it does as a juice so feminine i am not sure if men are going to enjoy it as much my husband said i uh, know this is highly feminine but again that's very subjective right there are so many men who enjoy wearing unisex fragrances and feminine leaning fragrances and there are so many women who enjoy wearing masculine fragrances so if you are a woman who likes very feminine fragrances and stay away from unisex and masculine fragrances i would say try this at least once you will love it the first time i tried this i tried this from a new bottle and i wasn't sure what was happening i did feel a hint of alcohol as well in the mix and i wasn't impressed the second time uh i went to center point and i was able to try a bottle that was almost getting over and that is when i really 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 enjoyed this fragrance so do not underestimate the power of maceration especially when it comes to middle eastern affordable scents and that's it i hope you enjoyed the video bye bye